That wasn't okay. So the picture showed Thomas and Carol playing around with a guy who had the the peace sign on his back. Was that meant to be George? Is that what George's scars look like? It's not what George's scars look like at the moment. Hmm. Because uh, York hey. saw it, saw them. I I know he saw them, but did we see them? I can't even remember. We did not. So maybe they look like that. But then York should have fucking picked up on that, so... Right. I don't think it's ever... I... Yeah, I'm not sure. Ruark, are you okay? Ruark? <laughs> I'm fine. Got to spend some quality time with Zack. Oh, shut up. I heard gunshots. Did you get our man? I'm tired of Zack. Did you get our man? York... Thomas is dead. I shot him. He tried to kill me. So Thomas, this would be a, a part where the Japanese suppose, might. This is the uh, you talked about. Modify the gender yeah, somewhat. The murder. Maybe I don't. I don't know. I mean. I just told you I had to shoot Thomas. It could be Thomas that e even if Thomas identifies as female, they might not say killers. anything, right? Or change kill anything, kill you know? York. Are you saying that Thomas was not responsible for the murders? What? That makes no sense. Thomas was the first red herring. Emily, are you out Second of red mind? herring after Nick. Thomas was certainly neck deep in this. But he didn't kill the girls. He has concrete alibis for all three murders. He also doesn't have the reverse peace symbol on his back. These are basic facts that for sure you haven't forgotten. Then who? I need you to be strong. Who's left as a leading character? If Thomas is not the killer, <laughs> then there is only one other possibility. Polly. There, there are a few more possibilities. Free access to the department files. That does narrow it. And doesn't have an alibi at the time of the killings. Love G himself. George? Ba, ba, ba. George is the killer? And since no. Did you start thinking this? I wasn't sure. Yes. Story, but <laughs> you saw the pictures, right? In that secret room in Carol's bar. That was when I became 100% positive. What were the but pictures in the secret room? Oh. With the oh, with the peace sign. Oh, right. There are it a whole bunch of uh, uh, Polaroids on the on the wall but that I, our player there. didn't specifically look at. What do you mean? Uh, Emily, I'm not saying that the pattern was the tattoo. Remember what Harry said. There isn't a single thing that can maintain its shape for eternity. And George's back is a perfect example. Hey, you two! Could you explain yeah, but this like, so I can understand? Giant scars on? in the form of peace signs don't just get rubbed Emily out. Here. No, but I you could slash over them enough to tower. obscure it, I imagine. Thomas is dead. <laughs> I was forced to shoot him. <laughs> Hand over Kason's face. Uh, York is a little weak. In the head. But we're heading back to the department now. Me and my cleavage will be there in ten minutes. My cleavage and I. And my ears. Okay, are... Emily. I'll be here from seven to eleven <laughs> every day from here on out until you show up. <laughs> Emily. George is a friend of yours, isn't he? Yes. Then what we are about to do is going to be tough to deal with. Are you willing to go through with this? So, but like, the raincoat killer is obviously nowhere share. near as it's wide as George. Town, but I take pride in that. The, um, it's my duty to Carol and Thomas and took turns in the suit reasons. as well. Even uh, if it means facing an end that I would never have hoped for. Also, okay. the raincoat killer sometimes okay. apparated, so... Right. This case is going to end at the sheriff's department. Where it begin? Well, I guess okay. I mean, the the the, the mystery kind of tries to play as sci-fi with the poison gas and smash. hallucinations, but we'll, come on. Cl Let's clearly it moves into supernatural uh, to a certain extent. Like after Once that seal is broken, anything goes. I think we hit anything goes long before that, though. Dun, 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 yeah, cat fight that's dun, 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 in kind of poor taste, deadly problem. Ah, uh, yeah. It 
was a per a, a time when people didn't know any better, and so, um, yeah. I'm pretty sure from the first time someone said cat fight, people knew it was a little. Uh... Well, I don't it, know. I guess, I guess I didn't for like 35 years or so, <laughs> but um. Well, if it if it weren't a little bit um. I don't want to say transgressive, because transgressive in a bad way, then I, it wouldn't have worked as a joke. But then it, it is one of those jokes that got so common it stopped being a joke. It's just something people that. said. Okay. Yeah. So what cat fights in bad taste, but how about going rare? Is that okay? Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> if this was a movie, I'd be some minor nameless character. Especially as, uh, at least in my experience, it's used to... Be really dismissive of someone's actual anger or upset. Sure. Kason, uh, you wouldn't be some minor nameless character. You would be a fucking civilian. Right. If he must be a civilian, at least he's a fucking civilian. Yeah. <laughs> Other side, uh, Sheriff's Office Department. He just really isn't that upset about Diane's death, and it kind of makes me sad. Like kind of liked Kaysen for being like a an openly sexual slightly kinky like person and now it's like oh he's just kind of a douche <laughs> somewhere between entering the building and closing the door we lost Emily he told him to stay outside as usual oh, I missed that ah, for God's yeah, sake yeah Kaysen's I, I like those things about Kaysen, and, and yeah, the fact that it sort of falls away at the end and he becomes just kind of a general doofus, uh, or careless, any, at least. So, what I started to say earlier was, uh, you know, for me, my first like a crazy transvestite uh, movie that I saw that at least that I remember uh, was uh, Terra Firmer and I really really loved the movie and and I think every I'm trying to remember now I think every one that I've seen it's yeah, always okay. painted in a, a warm oh, welcoming shit okay I thought he was just going to start shooting zombies but I guess maybe we're going to talk a little bit first Is that, that was that it I think that might now, be it now we shoot zombies Okay, yeah, and they're, you know, they're almost always uh, presented as sympathetic, right? Um, like, I've never, I've never seen one where it's like, oh, transvestitism is evil. Uh, I haven't actually seen Sleepaway Camp, so I don't know if it is there. But, um, and I, I remember when, oh, let's go get some, the Throne of Abyss. All right, whatever. Uh, <laughs> like... In Terra Firmer, like, I was, like, literally crying when the, the reveal happens and you find out what's going on here, and it, it just, you you feel for this, I, I mean, I felt very strongly for this character, and it was that same sort of, like, the character was so, you know, uh, there was this unrequited love for another character, and there was hatred against this girl who just was born a girl, and yada, 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 and, uh... And I thought it was very meaningful and powerful, and then I started seeing it kind of over and over and over again, and it was like, hmm, this is, you know, like, like I feel a little weird for liking the movie so much now, right? right? Um, maybe, you know, maybe we're all forgiven for liking our first one or two. <laughs> but it is something that's kind of like, I mean, it's like, it's, it's like on one hand, you know, you want representation, and you don't always want to make uh, somebody who represents uh, something that isn't the norm in a positive light, because that can get ridiculous as well, right? But hmm? yeah, um, no one, no one's looking for for saint. What uh, I mean, big picture, if there were plentiful representation, then having a few villains means nothing. It's just part of the mix. But if yeah. that's for a long period of time, if that's really all you got, uh, uh, villain or or butt of the joke, yeah, it's not as good. No. I 
swear there's a Brian De Palma one with it, but I can't remember what it was, like from late 70s, early 80s. Was it Blow Up? I, I, I don't know. There's a, a slightly different kind of, sort of, um, um, oh, what's the director's name? Roman Polanski, uh, The Tenant. Have you seen that? Or heard of it? Mm -hmm. Uh, no, I'm not a Polanski fan. Not, so. not really either. But the um, this is part of what's what's called the the apartment trilogy: the Rosemary's Baby in the bi uh, big, uh, in the middle, Repulsion, and then in the Tenant, Polanski himself plays the uh, protagonist, and he moves into an apartment, and he learns that the previous member of the apartment died mysteriously, and he starts uh, you know looking into to various things, and it starts to seem like everyone else in the apartment building was was responsible for the, the previous tenant's death um, and over time he starts turning into her into the previous tenant um, starts wearing her clothes and he, he finds like her tooth and he pulls out one of his teeth and sticks it in and wears a wig and, and that sort of thing and ah. um, it's treated as this is a big part of the horror of the moment Right, so he's sure. being turned into someone else. At least from his experience, it's outside influence that's making it happen. Uh, and that that he's turning into a woman is 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 that's a big part of the horror. Uh, in in the end, it's unclear whether it, it's probably all in his mind. So all along, he was I don't know turning into a woman or something. It's weird. Uh, but I, I find it really uncomfortable um, for that reason, because it, it's it's a concept that could be played with, but the fact that, that, that like, oh my god, a woman, this is the worst thing I could be. Uh, you know, I mean, that, uh, that, that could be, a case could be made that that was the bias of the character and not the bias of the movie, but it, it, it pretty much is the bias of the movie. <laughs> the bi if it's the bias of the character, then we're talking about Switch with Jimmy Smith's. Uh, I looked it up, by the way. De Palma's movie is Dressed to Kill. Oh, I think I've seen that, but ages ago. Yeah. I have not seen it. I'm a De Palma fan, but uh, his older stuff used to be at least difficult to find and now I just never think about it so yeah, I, I really have a hard time watching Roman Polanski anymore now that I know more about him um, him and Woody Allen yeah which, like I I don't know like I've had this conversation before separating someone's art from their life and it's like for me I, I just don't like I I, I just haven't really liked anything of Polanski's that I've watched. I, I guess I enjoyed Rosemary's Baby, but I think I would have liked the book a lot better. Yes, probably. Uh, and, um... Oh, I just goddamn hated Ninth Gate. Like, I just hated it so much. Yeah, it wasn't good. I think... I think after Ninth Gate, I just... It, it would be difficult to allow myself to watch a Polanski movie willingly. I mean... Th Although... I mean, there, there's ahead. there's the, the attitude of, of boycotting someone's work because they're a horrible person. Uh, and, and, and I can get behind that. And there's the attitude of, like, you know, forget the, the person. I, I like the work. And I can get behind that. Um, I'm a bit more like... I don't want to give this guy any of my money. You know, it's not a boycott exactly. Yeah. You know, uh, um, Orson Scott Card, I don't want to give him any of my money. You know, I, I, right. I do not, you know, I kind of a, a vote with your dollars kind of situation, I suppose, but if I have 20 bucks to buy a book, I, I don't want him to be the one that gets it. Sure. My books have gotten expensive in the time during my my lifetime. Yeah. Yeah, it's there was that increase in the price of paper uh, around what was it, two thousand or so, and uh, it's like comics and books just all kept increasing, increasing, increasing. 
At least they're still getting made. Fair enough. And they haven't successfully closed libraries yet, though. Believe it or not, there are people who want to. Rich people, mind you, predictably. Yeah, I, I was gonna say, I bet it's uh, people who are upset that poor people use them to play Minecraft or play a uh, farm. Uh, yeah, and shit. I mean, they're they're upset that no. poor people are getting something for free, anything, because no. that pisses them off. Even though it affects them not at all, it's because they're cold-hearted, evil people. Well, they pay taxes to entertain those. You boys. know what? Poor people pay taxes too, and and. Uh, Percentage-wise, we probably pay more taxes. Sure. I, there's no probably about it. So they should just fuck off to their own island. Not bitter. Huh? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty. Uh, it's pretty fucking ridiculous. I'm uh, working at the the VA Public Affairs, and uh, uh, our glorious leader has decided that there will be a, a hiring cap uh, on the VA because they believe that employees at the VA sit around looking at porn on their computers instead of actually working. I did, I've seen from two different people that, that story, you know. Uh, I don't know where they got that story, but every VA I'm aware of is understaffed. Um, but they've got this yeah. idea that someone's getting away with something. And they'd rather squash undeserving innocent people than allow someone to get something right. like, they didn't deserve. It's like all the welfare queen right. stories, right? More or less invented by, was it Reagan, I think? Was the welfare queen guy? Oh god, it's been so long. I don't or like uh, Florida did their, their drug testing for welfare recipients and got like, I think, 2%. Uh, and the testing cost more yeah. than they saved. Uh, but they don't care. They would yeah. rather screw over those 2%. They'd rather screw over everybody than allow that 2% to get anything they, yeah. they don't think they deserve. Meanwhile, any attempt to get them to, to have drug tests is soundly thwarted. Still not bitter. <laughs> Yeah, every time the drug test bullshit has happened, it's been less than 5% that they've found. And yet, there there's still states who are, who are pushing to, to get it done in their state. I think Utah is one of them. Oh, of uh, even though it's been yeah. proven, more or less exactly according to prediction, it's been proven that it's a waste of time and that the the uh, concept of the, the druggy welfare user uh, uh, is... Um, Pretty much myth, myth, lies. But they'd rather people starve or go homeless than let one person get something they don't deserve. Never mind how much they deserve what they get, bastards. Right. People who lift themselves up by their own bootstrap, they say. But if you, you sort of run it through the truth of meter, they they've had things handed to them by their parents and by their parents' connections. And by being in a fraternity with rich people, and... Look, after that first million that their parents <laughs> gave them, everything else was made by themselves. Uh, you know, if I had a million dollars starting pot, I, I, could, uh, I could make money off it. Just by putting it in a savings account, I could yep. make some money off it. You know who else could do that? Every other single exactly. living person out there. This is, this is, I mean, this is the fucking lie that the rich don't tell themselves. Also, we have no, uh, sort of, um, we have no sort of modern noblesse oblige. Have you noticed that? Like, like, there's no, uh, there's no, that just doesn't play Can in. Can you explain anymore. that term? Noblesse oblige is, it's, uh, uh, I don't know, the, you know, literally obligation of nobles. It's the idea that... The rich have an obligation to take care of everybody else. Oh, because right, they're better yeah. Off. That's kind of an old fashioned thought, isn't it? I don't think it's that old fashioned in most other places. <laughs> oh, oh shit, we can profile now. Now we get to see fucking, I don't know, Carol yelling no stop to George, maybe? I mean, 
Whatever, I'm just in it to see York with the white hair at this point. There is a raincoat killer. One of them. Obviously looking at a key told us that. Is that... Is that Carol? Is that Emily? I have no idea. I don't think it's Emily. I'm not? It's hard to tell with... It's Carol, because that's Carol's earring oh. that's showing us this. How do you get that by splatter? There's a... Is that somebody's eye? I thought they looked like a floor or a ceiling. Yeah. Well, let's see who this know. is. This must be Carol. I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm assuming Carol. Now, she's a fucking goddess of the forest as well. We don't we don't get to shoot at her on a goddamn I, clock I tower. I wanted to turn around and be George. <laughs> yeah, it was a ceiling. What? What was that sound about? An upside down turkey was up there, obviously. <laughs> Giant, upside down turkey. Yeah. Giant bloody turkey. And. Now I'm really thinking it's going to be George. No, that's... Yeah, it's Carol. Ah, damn. She's going to spit some red seeds yeah, at us, I She's got that little kind of line of blood down once... Or... CP time! CP time. Carol. Brought to you by... You okay? I envy people who can just <laughs> fall asleep anywhere. I used to have that power. George did this to you. Excuse me? <laughs> that, that looks neither like... What, in parentheses, That Thomas? looks neither like Japanese nor like English. I, I shot him. I, I had to. I, oh, okay, hold on. Let me just frame someone else here. Uh, uh, Nick? Nick did it. Courage, love, George loves. Substitutes. Substitutes? Yeah. What? So Thomas and Carol were substitutes for Emily in George's heart. That's what all, that all added up to, in case it was too disjointed. Sure, sure. So she spat those out onto a bloodstain that was already there? What? Casey, Where's... quick! Not in the room. Kason's outside, but, you know, we've really only gone Still. through, like, two rooms. So, uh, this could be made into a sitcom called Everybody <laughs> Loves Emily. I bet more people love Emily than love Raymond. <laughs> 